Hello, I'm Bruce Shane, and today we're going to take a look at a simple problem I have for my students involving motion. It involves using these dune buggy cars. Now this would be a problem that I assigned before we go out and do our speeder slab outside. This is where we go out and measure the speeds of the cars and trucks on the road that's in front of our school. Now in my classroom, the little cars have a speed limit also. It's one mile an hour or 1.6 kilometers per hour. Without testing the cars beforehand, my students pick out one or two cars, calculate the speed in miles per hour, calculate the speed in kilometers per hour, determine whether it's speeding or not, and then calculate or fine if it's over the speed limit. The fine is $50 for speeding and $10 for every 10% over the posted speed limit. If I want to, I can change the speed of these cars. It's not made for it, but if I rearrange the batteries in the bottom compartment, I can make the cars go either faster or slower. These cars normally take two C-cell batteries end-to-end -to, -end to give it three volts. I can reduce the voltage down to one and a half volts by covering up one of the batteries with some masking tape. And completely cover both ends of it. There we go. And simply wrap it with aluminum foil. That's going to conduct electricity inside the battery compartment so that just the one battery is powering this car. Put it inside, both batteries inside, put the case back on, and try it we can see that it's moving a lot slower. Or I can use four AA batteries, end to end, little piece of aluminum foil here, and then covered with tape. I'm going to take a piece of aluminum foil and connect it to the negative end of the battery series. Use a piece of tape and cover that to hold it in place. It also ensures that it doesn't make contact with the positive end of the battery compartment. So the aluminum foil is going to make contact at the negative side and we'll put another piece of aluminum foil up at the positive side and push the batteries into place. It's a tight fit, but it works. We can also set it up with three batteries. Once again, they're connected in series and I used aluminum foil to connect the batteries to both ends of the battery compartment. Now let's try three trials and see how they do. All cars are recorded at their actual speeds. This is car number one traveling for eight feet. And the same car is now traveling for three meters. Car number two for eight feet. Here's the second car at three meters. Here's a third car at eight feet. And finally, the third car at three meters. Can you tell which cars were speeding, how fast they were going, and if they deserve to find? If so, how much should it be? Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick lesson on my cars. Come back and see me again. Bye!